Okay, so I had a mistake. I was opening up, I said the box from Canada. Actually, it was the box from um, the, I can't remember the, oh, uh, from Diecast, Diecast Direct. So instead of, die, instead of Canada, it's Diecast Direct, which is uh, Diecast Masters, which if you can read both of those, 85650 which is a what no they messed up well it looks like i get to send them back they're supposed to be 187th it says 150th But the the uh, invoice says one eighty seventh. Hmm. Well, maybe I want to open them up anyway. See if someone messed up. Because, like I said, the invoice says one eighty seventh. The box says one fifty. I do like their packaging. Nice square box. Then it comes in this wrapping and it's also sealed shut. Let's see if this says it comes with that. And well, the package says 187th. If you can read that, it says 187th. The box clearly said 150. Oh, yeah, so. A cat 6060 hydraulic mining shovel sh sh shovel <laughs> shovel with a with a backwards drag wow that's tight and it comes with foam insert you get your catalog get a little Ah, little instruction sheet to put some stuff together. Nice, very nice packaging. I'm going to turn on another light here. Okay. If there's a glare, I'm sorry. Nice, nice uh, plastic insert that just freely comes out. There's the uh, little extra piece that you have to add. There's a... Uh, little cable piece you need to add as well whoops sorry there's a little cable piece there's a little platform that was the instruction sheet I'm telling you, you gotta add those things there's a little person here and i think we got 87th definitely 87th there we'll put him there so inserts all snug and tight Carefully pulling these out. Yeah, that's definitely 87th. Ah, that's the cab roof. Okay. All right, let's see here. And you grab it underneath the boom, I think, is the best place to pick it out. Nice foam insert inside to keep it uh, steady. Let's use the top of the that foam insert to... Oh, the tracks are covered with plastic and taped. Actually, it's a plastic insert. So I only push there where my finger was at. Okay, so that comes off. 
that one comes off. That's around the tracks. So we put it down on the insert. Can we all see it? Okay. Wow. So let's uh, let me grab it there. Wow. Okay, that's stiff. That will definitely hold a position. Yes, it's off the ground. Okay. So nice range of motion on the on the bucket. Definitely unload into a, a big mining truck. That's the only farthest it goes there, but I guess you'd have it like that. Tracks do move on the foam insert. They won't move on the it needs a rough surface to move. They'll slide on the metal, of course. They'll probably roll in the bed. Yeah, they roll in the bed just fine. They're fairly... They're fairly loose. That rotates. That's good. Oop. you got to be careful where you grab. There is grab, grab railings all around this thing. Hydraulics look good. The cables look good. Nice silver 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 cylinders and they definitely definitely stiff enough to hold their position they apparently that's all the way up nope wow okay so that's the all, all the way up i'm sorry if i'm blocking but i need to grab it someplace i can't break grab the body that's why i don't want to break any of the grab irons and handrails there's a ladder there I'm assuming if that one doesn't work, this probably would slide down, but I'm not going to try it. This one does fold up, so you don't, yeah, because if it's down and you rotate, you might hit the tracks. So that swings up, and it does stay up. And actually, the, the bottom one, there is a two-piece. It does swing up as well. It kind of pushes that handrail out a bit, but actually, I think it's okay. Nice, uh, I can't really see. Hang on, going on for a ride. Okay. And my phone might slip out of, the, out of the cover. Let's see if we can do this. So we got good graphics on the front. Got good graphics on the side. Sorry about that. Got the 660. Got good handrails. They're all plastic, of course. Got that. And of course, the uh, after you put the driver in, I guess you just. Ah. I think it just sits there. It might be pushed down a little bit. There's little nubs on the inside. So you get it, I guess, get it where you need to go. And I guess you can glue it. You can glue it if you want. Sorry about that, people. I'm trying to do these two things at once, and I can't do them both. Okay, so, yeah, that goes on there. That piece there probably goes. Now let's look at the instructions. So we got the, the cab roof, which goes there, and then the, oh, I see, you just press it down, and it doesn't tell you about the other item. Hmm. Unless you put that, I don't know. But like I said, it, it rotates. But you'd want to have, definitely want to have the grab handles up. Nice detail there. Grill work. Got cat emblem there. Got the motors. Nice detail there. Wow. That is really good detail. All those, all those uh, hydraulic lines. All the way up. Up to those. And there's these are these are actually movable. These these here are movable. Sorry about that again. And they're rubber. They're you know like vinyl. Those up top are the same way. You gotta just be careful where you're pushing and stuff. More grill work. 
more grill work on the side 660 holes and stuff the uh i like the, the, the catwalks or the i guess boxes and stuff good teeth design and i yeah, see the wheels do roll that's it's fairly easy pivots rivets it's good travel motion on on the bucket and on the arm and that's that's really extended out i mean you're not going to go that high unless you're i don't know do you dig out of the side of a mountain <laughs> i remember heard the laundry buzzer go off too so i'm gonna finish this one all right let's get this back up here try and do this so my phone don't fall over and okay so like i said it's got good Okay, we got that. It's got good range motion there. That's all the way up. Let's turn this a bit. Okay, so that's all the way up. And this is all the way down. And then that arm there goes pretty well into there. Then you have that arm, which goes down. Of course, you're going to have it out here like this. You come down, come down. You're going to be picking up rock. Scrape it across, curl it, and you bring it all up. Okay, Definitely not something you want to play with. <laughs> bring it up. Bring it up is hard. You got that. See? That one arm. That main arm is really stiff. So, I'd say once you find a position you like on your layout and then you leave it. That arm is really stiff, so you'd have to bring it up like that, swing it around to where the dump truck is at, and then dump. So, that main arm is really stiff. Those two work fairly easy. This is really easy. Okay, that's really easy. That one's easy as well. I guess just maybe it matters where you, where you can grab it. I guess you can grab it inside like that, and you have your hands back here on the back here where my left thumb is at and then do it up and down you got better better control of everything and i am pushing down a little bit you know pushing down so i can push this up but it's got good range of motion that's going to go good on the layout i'll have to find me a corner and make me a, a rock pit maybe they're digging the rock face out and uh crushing the stone and stuff I'm gonna have fun with that. <laughs> well, at least we're seeing. I mean, so we open the other one up. The other one's just a forward, forward shovel. I'm not even sure where the. Yep, I think that's right. Oh, I'm not gonna put everything back. I don't think that was up that high. The boom. I think the boom needs to come down some. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna do that for now. Let's take a quick look. Here, actually, I'm gonna. Okay, sorry, I'm going to pause that. Okay, going to start you back up again here. So, again, wrong box. It says 150th. 
Apparently they didn't have any 187 scale boxes. But the other thing, if the 87th actually fits in the 50 scale box, how much less packaging is there? You know, because it's going to be bigger. It's going to be way bigger. I wonder if they just misprinted. There's there's no way that a 50 scale would fit in the same container inside the same box. I bet they misprinted the, uh, it, it's supposed to be 87th. There's no way of 50, because 87 to 50. <clears throat> so this one is, of course, the, the forward, the forward digging shovel. Probably won't be much difference on it. It's the 6060 FS hydraulic mining front shovel. What did that one actually say? That just says mining shovel. Okay. Can't get that out. Oh, so those go on the inside. Okay. There again. Oh, it had the it had the it had that. And we got the same thing. Person cab cab cover. Um, hydraulic lines, the plastic insert, um, and a pull. Oh, that's a whole piece. Okay, this one's a whole piece covering the front end. I think it pulled the guy out in the rubber. That's got to be something. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it had a full piece. Full piece instead of two pieces. Still doing good. Oh, I see some extra, extra stuff on top. Okay, so let's try and get this one out fairly easy. Okay. I'll put him back there. Bring that back here. Let's put that there. Put that back on top of there. We'll cut the tracks off again. It's a piece of plastic. There's a piece. There's a piece of plastic connecting in back and piece in front. You just cut. I just cut one side off. Okay. Since this is a forward, forward digging shovel, we got some extra. Picture. We got a clamshell bucket. Hydraulics are really wow. I mean, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go for a trip again here. Okay. My uh my holder's not really made for this new phone that I got, the Z fold. Okay, so I'm trying to do this so my phone doesn't pop out of the holder. I've been trying to do this one-handed, it's not gonna be good either. Okay, so there again we got we got the cab detail. We got the person that can go in the cab roof, which is over there. Um, got some good hydraulics. Sorry, it's hard to focus. I guess we got the hydraulics for the main arm there with a stabilizer arm. The uh, inner one controls the outer outer boom, and then this one controls the clamshell. Yeah, I think that controls the clamshell, but it also probably controls the the bucket as well. Okay, tracks tracks move fairly easy. I'm just two fingers here. Okay, the turning will take two hands. We got the uh, the folding catwalk again. See, both of them do. There's 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 two pivot points here. One there and one there. You fold it up there. I guess if you want to fold that over too, you can. Same again there. I think that ladder, uh, you know, in the case of emergency, this would slide down. Okay, we got. Uh, oops, see, my phone just popped out of the holder. We got a uh, mirror there for looking behind you. I'm assuming that's probably an air conditioning unit for the cab only. Got got nice grill work. Some grill work there on the sides as well. You know, I didn't show you the underside of the other one. Nice grill work, nice cat design. We got the motors again, and the the oh, that one's black. The other one was silver, like this piece here. This one on here is black. That must be a oh, it's a vent. And then look at all the cables down inside. Those are all hard plastic. 
as is as is the other one. But these in here are are actually rubber, vinyl or whatever, you know, they're rubber, so they can move and stuff. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, see, I think I just busted something. Yep, I did. See, I was trying to grab there, and I actually grabbed up here. I think I broke that one right there. I'm going to do a little dab of uh, glue on that, but... Good, uh, definitely good, dang, dang good detail on the hoses and stuff. I like the hoses clear down inside. The, that's really good. These are, like I said, Diecast Masters. I do believe Diecast Master has a sole licensing with Cat to do these because Norscott stopped doing them. So, okay, hang on a minute. Let's see if we can get the film back out to where. If the film pops out, I'm sorry because I need two hands to do what I'm going to be doing here in a little bit. I'm going to put the film back up here. Get you in good position. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe zoom in a little bit. Okay. I know this is turning into a long video, but okay. So we got. I'm gonna have to grab it here and here. So range of motion. Outer boom. Main boom. Okay. Main boom. see not too stiff there's a little stiff point right there but if you hold the track you can do it otherwise the tracks are not nice and smooth again this is a little bit harder to pick up wow that's heavy that's heavy with one hand they're metal tracks uh, the rollers underneath, the rollers inside here are just plastic and they're they're just uh, molded. But they are metal tracks. So there you'd come down, bring that down, scoop up, scoop up a rock face, swing it over, and then, oh, you'd have to drop it a little bit. And then you just swing this up. This is this is a manual. The clamshell is just a manual. You just do it like that, and the materials fall out into the dump truck. So let's see, range of motion. So that's I think that's all the way up. The main boom or the clamshell boom can go up to there, and I think the second boom is all the way as well. So it gets you know you. Putting in that position there would be all right. Oops. Out of frame a little bit, sorry. Here, how's that? Okay, so it probably wouldn't be that high up and you'd have to have it turned there like that and then you just do that and it would fall into a dump truck. Which, um, give me a hang on people. I thought I had a mining truck. I don't. I could have sworn I did. One of those big ones. Well, and I didn't do this with the other one, but. So we got that. Okay. Now I'm going to turn that. This D11. Could also be in the operation moving moving product closer I don't know about the d9 though that's the d9 you know I 
how would that look? And then you have a, you know, they're pushing product because, you know, you're blasting it and comes out the, you know, it's not easy. These would be pushing so he can maybe get another swipe of some random rock around and then dump it into a dump truck. So, that's Diecast Master. I bought it from uh, Diecast Direct. They are, uh, I think they're worth the money. I'm not going to say. I mean, you can look it up. You go to Diecast, Ma Diecast Direct, look up Diecast Master Cat, the 660 FS, which is the front shovel, and the other one's just the mining shovel, the 660. You'd, you'd be a judge of, you know, good quality. I'd say um, it's about a, about the price of a, a locomotive without... Hmm, Possibly DCC without sound, with DC but without sound, maybe. Of course, I haven't bought any locos in a while. I didn't see anything wrong with the price, but you know, that's me. I would buy a two hundred, <clears throat> uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, so the other box is from Canada. Oh, that box back there is from Canada. So I actually have a second box coming from Canada as well. It's not here yet. And then I have another box next week with uh, uh, some uh, stuff that I'll be putting on the truck. So, so there's my, oops, about lost the camera there. So that's my um, CAT 660FS hydraulic mining front shovel with the D11 CAT, also diecast master. And the D9, which is also a diecast master. Yeah. So now I need two uh, off-road mining shovels, or mining trucks. I do have... You know, even though there's no scale on this, at least I don't think there is. It could be 150th, but that could go with, with this. These I bought in the Love's truck stops. That one. And the, uh... And the bulldozer, which... Yeah, that's, that's definitely 150, because that says the D11T. And, uh... I think... This just says D11. This says D11, and that says D11T. So that would probably be 150th, just compared to the D11. So, but you know, who knows? I mean, and there is, there is an off-road mining truck in this, in this metal machines deal, which is, uh, yeah, the seven seven ninety seven F. So, depending on, on how big, if that's what you're looking at here, compared to the D11, it might be too big for HO 797F, 390G excavator in the D11T. But T versus just a straight 11, it might work. It just might work. But anyway, all right. Just me again. I got to looking at these boxes, these packages, and they have some very good stats on the back of these. I just wanted to show you guys and gals and kids, and or no, no, no kids, no kids, no kids under 14. So the 660 FS hydraulic mining front shovel. So you can pause that. Okay, and then the engine details. Okay, and yeah, there's a nice little picture. And then the CAT 660 hydraulic mining shovel details. So we got uh, dimensions in English and metric, operational specs, and engine details. So look for diecast metal or diecast masters, excuse me. This, this product is the 85651. That's just the mining shovel, the forward, the front, sh 
The front shovel is 85650. Collectible. Collectible. See, that right there should be not for children. Oh, look. Look. Oh, my God. Look. Warning. Choking hazard. Small parts not for children under three. And it is recommended for children above 14. It is 87 scale. The printing was wrong on the box. So, yeah. There's no way a 50 scale would be in that size box. Well, there again. Maybe in the, that size box. Definitely not in that packaging. There'd be so much less foam that I wouldn't want. It'd be so thin, I think it'd be, yeah. They'd have to be bigger. And I, I'm sure the price would be way much more than what I paid. You know, a 150 scale would probably cost as much as both of these. Put it that way. But I'm impressed. I'm happy. So you guys can look at them and decide which one you like better. I just bought one of each. You know, why not? Now I got to buy two mining trucks. Actually, four. Yeah, because I could probably supply four trucks. But anyway, all right, later.